Hello everyone and welcome back to part number 9 of the Beauty and the Beast part of the Disney Legacy Challenge. That is the most longest intro ever. <laughs> I hope that you're all having an amazing day and look it is finally winter, it is snowing and Belle has woken up super duper excited because she loves the snow. She loves, loves, loves the snow and she has also had some news from home. Her phone rang this morning and Jessica has given birth to a brother called Reggie. So we still need to change the name. So we're going to change Jamie or Jamie or whatever to Rose. So we need to think Reggie... Is it really fairy tale esque? No. So down below, comment on your suggestions for Belle's brother. And there's also been a bit of a development here. Cinderella has got herself a boyfriend, Eric Dillard. So I think, to be honest, I don't think this is not in any way a love match. I just think that Cinderella, at this point in her time, she is older. She's just looking for companionship. She's always had someone. So, you know, some may say it's a bit soon after Harry, but it has been about three or four sim days and you know sims move quick <laughs> three or four sim days is probably about four or five months in our time so to me she's just looking for companionship and he actually looks not too bad which is quite surprising so there you go that is the family tree so harrison and tristan still don't have anybody and tyler has two kids and clara has two kids and lillian anastasia christian and Neil. So they've got good names but these don't. So Jessica and Buzz have obviously got terrible taste <laughs> in names. Now the Beast, Je Jessica, and Belle is now allowing the Beast in to her room. So before her door was locked no one was getting in. She is now allowing him in because they are you know, really, really good friends now. Now, he knows that he can trust her and she's a wish that she wants to go to the Winter Festival. So because she's been away and she's came back, he knows for a fact that if he takes her somewhere, she's not going to run away from him. So he's going to take her today to the Winter Festival because she's never been and it's something that he wants to actually do for her. So she wants he wants to go on a date with her. So he's actually going to ask her to go on a date rather than just group up. So let's see if we can do this here. I don't know if we can do this when we're standing, um, sitting even. So let's go and stand up and then we'll ask her. So, romantic, why don't we flirt with her a little bit and then hopefully that will bring up the date thing and then we can take her to the winter festival and it's snowing and if you remember the scene in the film, one of their first scenes where they're obviously falling for each other is when it's snowing. So it's just an awesome, let's talk to her about our feelings, let's kind of tell her See how she reacts to that. She's like that. Oh, she liked it. Well, there you go. So let's ask her out on a date. And then we'll go to the Winter Festival. Now, I know that, you know, we've all seen the Winter Festival and things like that. However, you know, we haven't seen these two going to the Winter Festival. <laughs> Excellent. So they're going on a date. Awesome. So let's get ourselves down to the festival then. So visit lot with date. I always think that towns are super, super pretty in the snow. Now, a few of you had asked where this town was. This is Story Brook. Story Brook. Story Brook County from My Sims Realty and uh, it's a great website where you can get lots and lots of custom towns and Storybrooke is just one of the one of the best in, in my opinion. It's a nice big town, it's got you know the kind of country area over here and then you've got your more city area over where I was there. So I wonder what Cinderella's you know friend is like. That'd be interesting actually to to see to see him right, what's happening. Come on, beast. Come on. Need to go to the winter festival. 
Yeah, so the scene in the movie where they have the romantic snowball fight, you know, something there that wasn't there before type thing. So that would be cute for them to do that. And Belle has a new dress as well. The Beast gave her a new dress. Still very much sticking to the stuck in time theme that he is, but that's all right. But that's all right. So first of all then, I'm going to do is get them to get themselves a greeting card photo. You know, because it has to be done. And like I say, I know you all have seen this, but you know, we'll watch it again. We'll watch it again. So let's see what's at this festival. I don't even know what's at this festival. But they're going to get their photo taken. So there's a bonfire, but we're a bit too late in the season for that. So they're going to get their picture taken. Aww. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Right, so why don't we come here then and... Oh, look! It's Tyler and Tristan. It's the T-Twins together. How cute is that? So she's going to go and skate on there. And it looks like the beast is going to go and skate as well. How cute is that to see the T twins together? And who's that? Lee Lackley. Don't know who that is. Cinderella, it's your brother. No, it's not. It's your uncle. <laughs> it's your uncle. Let's um. Well, he's a wee off the ice, but we can talk to him in in a second. What are you doing, beast? Are you going to ice skate? Is there room for him to be in ice skate? Oh my goodness. <laughs> what? That's not exactly ice skating. What is that? Oh, poor Belle. She's like that. I just wanted to have a nice skate round here and look what he's doing. That's really funny. That is really, really funny. And the beast is feeling a bit like there's too many people around. So can you like hold him like his hands or so they can't actually spin with no oh, I wanted them to spin I thought that would have been really cute oh no can you do you even know your uncle I don't even know but you can greet him and see but I don't even know if she knows him to be honest with you Right, okay, it's not about him anyway. So, let's go and have a look at what they can do together then. Oh, that's a shame. Right, where is the um, booths? So, why don't you both come and make a blizzard snow cone? You come and make a grape one. And then once the snow is deep enough, then we will get them to... Oh! It's deep enough. Right, we'll get them to come and get a snow cone first of all. Because that will be cute. What does yours look like? I love snow cones. Like, love them. Amazing. Amazing stuff. It's part of the reason why I like winter is because of that. And we'll get them to come and get themselves... Like a hot chocolate or something, that would be nice as well. Is that nice, Belle? I bet it is. I bet it is. Oh, she's lip smacking away at that anyway. She likes that. She wants to get her face painted and no, that's not going to happen because you're not 12. You're not 12. Don't sit over there. But at least it's getting his hunger up, so that's good. So why don't you come over here and sit with him? The snow is getting like super duper deep. Okay, so I want to... Does he need the toilet actually? Yeah, I think he does. Let's let him go to the toilet. The reason I'm saying get him to go... Why is there no toilets in there? Is it men's toilets without a toilet? What? How does that make sense? How can the men have a toilet but no toilet? And then that's the ladies so that will not let them in there. Well that's bothersome. That is bothersome. Right, just take her home. 
Oh no, they were going to go and seesaw together. Okay, just do that then. <laughs> just go and do that. Right, go and do that. Just let that seesaw. So that's sure. Why not? Or is it this person here? Oh, that's a uh, thingy son, Neil. Oh, who's that? I can't remember. That's somebody's son anyway. Somebody's son anyway, but he's getting off. <laughs> Bells like that, get off. I'm about to have a romantic moment here. See, so go you going on it or what? Seesaw with Belle. Because I think Belle brings out the best in the beast. You know, that sort of childish, you know, happy type of pairing that he doesn't really have. <laughs> like, so stupid with a big dress on. <laughs> oh, I do, I do love these pair. I do love these pair. And they like totally, he crushes on her, she crushes on him. It's like such a nice ship. I tried to think of a really clever uh, ship name, but I'm just not that great at things like that. I'm really not at creating a ship name. So if you can create a ship name, that sounds like I'm saying something else, isn't it? A ship. A ship. Ship or shit. <laughs> um, if you can think of a good ship name, then please do so. And I am going to then send these guys home because they both need the toilet and they're going to have a snowball fight if it's the last thing I do. Now, how are our other house people here? What is What are you up to? Oh, look at that. Is that not freaking adorable? Look. So he's chilling outside with her. Oh, Missy's pots. So cute. So he's chilling outside with her while she swings on the swing. That is actually heartwarmingly adorable. So why don't you go ahead and push her? That would be even cuter. <laughs> I know we've done the push on swing thing, but just seeing these two push each other would be super special, I think. Especially after Mrs. Potts got her heart broken by, by uh, Mr. Lumiere, who I bet you is probably dancing somewhere. Uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Lumiere, you're a nightmare. That is all you actually do. Oh, look at these pair. Oh, sweet as moonshine. Where are you going? Belle, where are you? Okay, why are you, like, are you stuck? <laughs> How bizarre. So it looks like there's not just this romance going on. It looks as if there's definitely the relationship between Mrs. Potts and uh, Mrs. Potts and what's his face is really developing. What is his name? Cogsworth. Yes, Cogsworth. Could not for the life of me remember what his name was. So go and you use the toilet, and then you're going to go back outside and play in the snow and have a little bit of a snowball fight. Okay, that's enough pushing her. So let's uh, romantic, let's give her some flowers. I think that would be really nice. She deserves love as well. Mrs. Potts, bless her heart. And once these guys have done a pee. Alrighty. So, let us go out the back. Let's let's go out the back. Because there's a nice space out the back. Oh my goodness, whose freaking igloo is that? Whose igloo? Whose igloo is this? And we will have a snowball fight with Prince Adam. Let's go ahead and... There's enough flat space. Well... What? Yes, there is. There absolutely is. I will be right back, guys. Alrighty, guys, and they are heading outside to the outside space. And this is where the in the movie their sort of love began for each other. Which is a 
adorable. There may be something there that wasn't there before. <laughs> Do you know, I really wish that I could actually play the music, but dang copyright, because I would totally, totally play the full song in this part because that would just work out so well. Right guys, so they have done lots of romantic things and now is the moment that a lot of you have been waiting for, including me, I'm not going to lie. So the beast is going to make his move, It's going to hold her hand, she's going to hold his hand and can he talk about his feelings, about how he's feeling about her or... Let's talk about our feelings and just explain the fact that I really care for you, Belle. Really, really care for you. Give her an amorous hug. Aww. She's like Tweezledorf. And let's tell her how we feel. And she feels it too. The romantic interests. Let's embrace her. Prince Adam just confessed his attraction to Belle. And then last but not least, first kiss. Oh, So cute, guys. So cute. She's now romantically involved and Cinderella has just got hitched. My goodness, is she hitched or is she engaged? Who knows? Who knows? Oh, it's so adorable. So let's, um, what can we do here? Let's stroke her cheek. Because he's a charmer. Now, obviously, him being, you know, him being this. You know, beast. If you like, it's 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 a bit difficult for Belle. So before they can make anything actually official, she will have to ask him to, you know, give up being a werewolf. Now a lot of you said that you can ask him to forgo that. So you'll need to, like, there we go, ask to forsake werewolf powers. So it's one of these things that Belle, Belle does have feelings for him. Belle really does, I guess, in a way, has came to love him. I don't know if it's, you know, deep, deep, deep love, but she's came to have strong feelings for him. But as it stands, as he's living at the moment with the werewolf curse that's upon him, she really feels that for them to have a life together, that he would have to break that curse. And because she loves him, he now has the option to get the curse broken. Because beforehand, he didn't have the option to break the curse. But now, because of the fact that she loves him, there is an option to forsake werewolf power. So she's going to go ahead and ask him to do that. Because we have the possibility of breaking this curse. He's like that. Absolutely. freaking lootly. So, go to the day spa to forsake werewolf powers and become a normal, not so hairy human sim. Yes, he will accept this opportunity. And once he has done that, they can then get back together and, you know, make things official. But that's something that he has to do 
first of all. So we're going to leave it there with their date. Oh, well, maybe we're not. <laughs> what are they actually got? What are they actually doing here? Oh, I'll actually, just let this play out here and see what what interactions they get. Listen, what's what's he saying? He's talking about his feelings again. Aww. Adorable. <laughs> She's gazing into his eyes. So sweet. Seriously. I don't think he can forsake his powers now, but I'm going to see if we can send him. Yes, so will disband that group. What an awesome date. She wants to skate in a pond with him. It makes him so angel. She wants to woo. <laughs> I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Belle is Belle is quite, quite. Uh, what do you call it? Quite out there. He wants to learn to one of her traits. That's cute. So when he is away, then you are just going to go ahead and get yourself ready for bed. You're going to get yourself ready for bed. And Chip is in your room. How cute is that? I wonder if Chip knew what's happening. Do you know Chip? <laughs> and she's in the library. No, you have to get yourself ready for bed. So let's have a look at this family tree then. So did Cinderella get married? Fiance. Okay, so he's a fiance. So I'll tell you, they do certainly do move fast. Do you have any other children? Scotty. You've got Scotty. You can see the resemblance between them. Okay, so there we go. We have our kiss and she wants to go on a date with him again. So once we, you know, have the werewolf curse has been broken, once the prince is a full prince, we're going to hold a big ball. That'll be in the next part. We'll have a big ball and we'll invite everybody over, all the family over, and then we'll be able to jazz this place up a little bit and kind of when the werewolf curse is broken so does the old fashionedness of it all gets broken not completely because it is a castle at the end of the day but it does mean we can brighten it up a little bit and you know get rid of the pink sweet and stuff like that you know so just brighten the place up a bit not losing the feel of what it is because it's still the Beauty and the Beast and it's the castle and things and that doesn't end when his werewolf powers go but it does mean that things can be a little bit brighter around about here but we will hold a big ball so that we can have the, the scene with her in her yellow dress and, and all that jazz so we'll definitely be getting definitely be getting that so I don't know what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out and cut back in once he comes back with his forsaking his werewolf powers because I don't actually know what happens because I've never actually had a sim forsake any werewolf powers so we'll see it looks like he's just about to finish actually might just wait on him well this is the day spa what did he go to the gypsy cavern tavern or whatever it is No longer at the beck and call of the moon, your sim is now free from the werewolf curse. Let's have a look at our prince then. Let's see, are you hunky? Are you hunky? I know you're hunky. You are hunky. Oh, you are. So cute. Good stuff. So let's go home and tell Belle what we've done. I'm sure she'll be so happy that her prince has forsaken those powers. Although right now she's actually looks like a zombie possessed <laughs> she's actually in her bed at the moment my goodness that was quite scary looking see when it takes a while to render it does kind of freak me out a little bit not even gonna lie come on come on render it render it that is really really freaky so guys that is it i'm going to leave you there i hope that you enjoyed this episode i know that a lot of you've been longing for the kiss to finally happen and it has and i'm really looking forward to the future with this couple as well and to kind of have them 
have the big wedding and have a big party and and all that sort of thing. I think that'll be really, really a lot of fun to do. And also develop the relationships between these guys as well because we've not really had that much to do with it and make sure Chip gets gets brought up gets brought up well so thank you so much for joining me guys please don't forget to like the video leave a comment below and if you haven't already i would love you to subscribe and i'll talk to you in the very next part bye guys